Now, uh, the reason Arthur's here is uh, to help us with uh, email bag. If you're watching the telly and you see something that you um, are excited about or annoys you, let us know about it. If we use your email, uh, you get for yourself a bobblehead ray. Everybody in position and good to go. Yes, roll the T. Hello, email baggers, and a very royal welcome to all my humble subjects. You know, my middle name's Regina. I never forgave my mother. Oh, it's funny to see the British monarchy looking on as they pulled Arthur's finest yesterday. Not the first time and thing that's happened, but enough about that party in Buckhouse back in, uh, when was it? 1959. Oh, yes. First up is Anne Perrow, who's worried about the freshness of the chicken in the KFC ads. Hi, Arthur. On the advert for KFC on TV, the ad says, chicken fresh every day. Yet at the end of the ad, a line appears on screen saying, chicken delivered three times a week. How can it be fresh every day, so? Good question. Here's what a Kentucky Fried Chicken spokesman said, and it wasn't... <laughs> The advert reflects the fact that our original chi- recipe chicken arrives at our restaurants fresh, never frozen, and is freshly breaded by hand with our famous original recipe and cooked to meet demand. The text at the end of the advert is to ensure clarity. Hmm, thanks KFC chicken for that poultry, I mean poultry response. Still on food is Nolene, who's concerned about the free and easy style of RTE's newest TV chef. Dear Arthur, hoping your arm is doing well. I have to tell you about another hero called the Kitchen Hero. Hero, one Donal Skeen. On Monday night, we settled down to watch Ireland's newest and youngest, he looks about 12, chef do his thing. I was amazed, however, to see that he left out the very basics, such as what temperature the oven should be at or how long a dish should be left in the oven. Now, I wonder, is he trying to make it more exciting for us and make us guess at these answers, or are we to learn by our mistakes? Nolene. They say cooking is art, baking is science, so that makes Donald's cooking, well, guesswork. Now, Paul Galvin thinks the Barocca ad on telly is encouraging crime. Dear Arthur, that Barocca ad where your man turns up at a black tie event, sans tux, as in without tux, really annoys me. First of all, surely no one is that moronic. And secondly, assault and theft are surely not the solution to the problem. Are the makers of Barocca trying to claim that their product will energise you so much that you'll break the law without so much as a hint of remorse? Thanks, Paul. Here's a response from the makers of Barocca. Well, I was a bit surprised by the viewers' comments. Assault and theft are nowhere to be seen in this commercial. What has actually happened is that the poor guy who forgot about his tux has cleverly negotiated with the waiter behind closed doors to borrow his tux. And our guy is seen smiling very happily as he emerges with the tux so he can comfortably attend the ball. This negotiation has taken place because the Baraka Boost Ninja kick-started our guy into thinking of a clever solution to his problem. Keep taking the Baraka, lads. Tom O'Neill has a plea from the heart about kids' TV. Dear Arthur, I just watched the TV documentary Bring Back Bosco. I'd like to know, are RTE going to bring back the various shows we grew up with, which were fun without being condescending? Parents didn't have to worry about their children watching TV. Now it's all about relationships in Australia, kids with perfect healthy bodies that look nothing like Irish kids. Please, bring back the mad TV of my youth. I'm 44. I have three kids, age 9, 10 and 14. Where are the cartoons, the madness, the make and do, the dialogue with extra stuff between the lines that adults got, like Zig and Zag. Cartoons are rarely on after four o'clock, and teenagers love Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry, He-Man, Marvel Comics, etc., etc. Please bring back a less PC TV for kids. Tom. Finally, a listener thank- thinks a Steven Seagull fan is embedded in the RTE Movies Department. Good day, Arthur. I'm here watching yet another Steven Seagal movie on RTE. I'm adamant there's a Steven Seagal fanatic in RTE, as their schedule probably has a Steven Seagal movie every month. This particular movie is Hard to Kill, shown on Tuesday the 10th. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about the frequency of Seagal films. I actually enjoy them, and I'm quite amused at the cheesiness. Well, in his first eight movies anyway. However, I want to know, Hard to Kill has probably been shown four times in the last 12 months. Near the end of the movie, there are two scenes which have been censored. One scene where Seagal kicks a guy in the face while he is on his knees after stabbing him with a broken pool cue. The kick to the face is cut from the movie. The other scene cut is when Seagal drives a sawn-off shotgun barrel into the mouth of the big bad guy at the end. This is the best part of the movie, but it's cut too. I distinctly remember these scenes being shown at one stage not too long ago on TV. Why are these vitally important acts of violence cut from the end of the movie? (laughs) 
RTE, why are you denying the viewing public these vital scenes? RTE don't make cuts to movies. That version of Hard to Kill would be the version we received with edits made for a television broadcast. It's possible that another broadcaster may have shown a different version. Thanks, RTE. That's it for this week. It's time for one to wave regally and depart the scene. Remember, if you get your correspondence read out on email bag, you get for yourself a delectable bobblehead ray. Email bag at todayfm.com for all your notes and queries. Bye.